Hey guys, in this video we are going to learn the triangle offense in 5 minutes or less. There's a lot that goes on in the triangle when it comes to screening and cutting, but its rules are consistent. This offense was most popular in the late 90s with the Bulls, but more recently the Knicks and Jimmy Butler's Bulls have used it. So without further ado, let's get right into it. In the triangle, you are trying to make, well, triangles. If we imagine the point guard cutting through to the corner, we have three triangles. One in the corner, one towards the top, and one on the back side. However, in a more modern day offense, we'd expect the four to be more in the corner. There are two main ways teams can get into it. The guard can pass and cut to the corner, or the guard can just dribble over. When we analyze this offense, we will draw the two guards as green, two forwards as yellow, and the one center as red. The first action is when the forward passes it to the center. Then both the guard and the forward will cut to the basket. If neither of the initial cuts are open, the forward who cut it will set a screen for the other forward. This could also be a good post-up play. If you have the interior force, you have to be very patient here. You see he waits for all the cutters, and when none of them are open, then he shoots. The second option is to pass it back up to the guard. Then the main thing the guard will do is give the ball to the weak side forward and run off him. If that initial cut isn't open, they can reset it and go into a pick and roll. You also don't have to cut above, you can cut in the middle instead. And of course the forward can go score himself, here Stoudemire draws a foul. They can also double the play. First, Jimmy gives the ball to Boozer, the weak side four. Then they reverse it. A back screen is set, and boom, a dunk. Option three is pretty similar to number two, except it starts with hitting the weak side forward. As soon as that happens, the guard will back cut. Just like option 2, you can have someone come up from the corner. You could rerun the pick and roll. Or you can hit the high low with the center. And finally, option 4. You start in a very defined triangle. Then the forward will pass it to the guard and cut to the basket. If that's open, great, you have a layup. More often than not though, it just becomes a side pick and roll or dribble handoff. There are a few obvious weaknesses for the offense. If you don't have a good post up big, the first action is useless. And if you don't have a good passer for the elbow or the wing, then the cut off the post won't work as well. Overall, I think this is a great offense. There are very set principles, regardless of which main variation you run. You have a lot of ball movement and cutting. And if you have a dominant score, this would work well as well. However, learning the offense is complex. I wouldn't say the offense is dead, per se. Some teams like the Warriors still like to run some of it, but I don't think you'll ever be a main offense anymore. So, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. The season's about to come out, so I'm excited to make content for that, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.